Hi friends, I am starting an experiment growing bell peppers in Aero Garden. This is very long journey of 235 days from seed to harvesting red bell peppers. For this experiment, I am going to use the seeds from a store-bought bell pepper. These are dark red, fully ripened peppers. Seeds from these peppers will work very well. If you want to try the same, just make sure you buy a fully ripened pepper. Seeds from green, yellow or orange peppers may not germinate. I also extracted seeds, dried them up and tried after 2 months. They also germinated very well. I saw 100% germination. For this experiment, I am going to use fresh seeds. You can see bunch of seeds here. Since I have lot of seeds, I am going to drop 3 to 4 seeds in each pod and see the germination rate. These are my refill pods. By the way, if you want to learn the techniques to make stickers or refill pods, please follow the links in the description below. I am dropping 3 seeds into these sponges. Dropping the sponges into the baskets. Now my pods are ready with seeds. Ok, here is my bounty. This bounty already has 3 tomato plants started very recently. It has few spots available. I am going to use 2 of these available spots to grow bell peppers. I am dropping the pods. It's been 11 days. Let's check the germination. First pod has 3 seedlings. And the second pod also has 3 seedlings. So I got 100% germination from the fresh seeds. It's day 13. Seedlings are getting stronger. I see the real leaves coming now. It's time to separate the plants. I have 6 plants in total. I will keep 2 plants in this bounty and move the remaining 4 plants to another bounty. And I will show the growth from both gardens. Here it is after separating the plants. I was able to separate all the plants successfully without killing any of them. Here I have two plants and the remaining four plants are in a separate bounty. It's day 49. Plants are looking great. Thick and green leaves and pretty strong stems. Now I see some birds on one plant. But no sign of birds on other plants. Day 56. I see lot of birds on all four plants. Plants are developing lot of branches and huge leaves and they are getting bit crowded. I will trim some of these leaves now. Here it is after trim. Birds are more visible now. Here is the bunch of leaves I removed. Day 64. I got the first flower. I am seeing lot of birds drying up and falling off in early stage. This is first flower I got. Day 66. One more flower. I see lot of pollen here. I am hand pollinating the flowers using Q-tip. Day 78. I see lot of birds and flowers but they are all falling off. I am hand pollinating using Q-tip every day but I don't see any sign of peppers yet. Look at all these fallen birds and flowers. I am not going to worry at this time. It's quite common. Day 91. I am still losing lot of flowers. But I am seeing lot more birds and flowers. I have a feeling that the Q-tip technique is not working. So I am going to try two more ways. First one is shaking the plants. And the second one is tapping the flowers with an electric toothbrush. I see pollen is coming out. Day 101. Look at this tip from the Aero Garden. It says peppers required the most patience of any Aero Garden crop. As it says, I finally got a baby bell pepper here. And one more coming here. I think my patience is getting paid off. This is very exciting. 
I hope these papers will survive and turn into real papers. Day 106. I did heavy pruning, but I still have lot of young leaves. Young leaves have active cells for photosynthesis, so these leaves are good enough for the papers to grow. This heavy pruning is helping me to access all the flowers to pollinate them. Here is the pepper plant from my other bounty where I started seeds. I accidentally broke the other plant in this bounty. I have only one pepper plant here along with three tomato plants. This plant also has bunch of birds, flowers and a baby pepper. It is competing very well with tomato plants. It's day 130. First two baby papers I saw on day 106 fell off on their own. I got few more baby papers after that, but they fell off too. But I see one paper growing little big compared to previous baby papers and the stem is pretty strong too. I think this will survive. Other plants still losing birds, flowers and baby papers. I lost my patience and I almost decided to trash this garden but these new peppers giving some hope. I am going to wait little longer. Let's check the pepper plant in other bounty. The very first baby pepper survived and turned into real pepper. It's growing nice. So this plant is doing lot better compared to other plants. Not sure if it is just a coincidence or the combination of pepper and tomato plants is helping each other. Day 143 The baby peppers survived and turning into real peppers. I see bunch of peppers now. Three of the four plants started producing peppers now. Day 150 I see three bell peppers growing very well and bunch of baby peppers on three plants. This is the first plant to produce the birds and the flowers from day 49, but it has no sign of peppers yet. I have no hope that this plant will give me any peppers. Day 168, I have half a dozen peppers growing very nicely. Finally, Fourth plant also started producing some peppers. With this, all plants producing peppers. I learned that the patience is very important while growing bell peppers. And every plant is different. Some of these peppers are about 2 inches long and 2 inches wide. Day 200, peppers are finally turning red. They are looking so nice with the combination of green and red colors. I see three of the peppers turning red, remaining are still green. Here is the pepper from my other plant. It turned complete red and it's ready to harvest now. Second pepper on this plant is ready if I want to harvest it as green bell pepper. But I am going to wait. Day 203, three peppers turned more red and a few more started turning red. Peppers in red are looking so beautiful. Day 212, many peppers turned red now. I think it's time to harvest and check the taste. Wow, looks awesome. Let's cut it and see the inside. Wow, looking so beautiful. I can smell the peppers as soon as I cut them. These peppers are adding very nice color and flavor to my salads. Day 233, I harvested most peppers. I have two red peppers left. I am already seeing bunch of flowers on all plants. It's already ready for second crop.
I am disappointed throughout the journey as I was losing birds, flowers and even baby peppers. Even the peppers that survived took forever to grow and ripe. But the end result paid off all my patience. Even though I harvested only 10 bell peppers after nearly 230 days, those 10 peppers are worth 230 days of waiting. Nothing beats the flavor and the taste these peppers added to my salads. It's very boring growing bell peppers, but it's totally worth it. Thank you for watching this very long video. I hope this helps.